What up everybody, it's your boy Angel here once again on another video for my channel. So listen, if you've been part of my, my subscribers, my friends, my family since the beginning, you know that I decided that I wanna open up a barber shop with me, my wife, my brother-in-law, and sister-in-law, right? But things happen, we found the location, we're excited, we're ready to go. It was a brand new plaza being built from scratch and they've been taking forever. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check this video out. Yeah, here it goes. This is our plaza. That was supposed to look so much cooler. <laughs> so it's not our plaza, but this is our unit. So I'm gonna explain to you what's going on. So this spot right here is a uh, plaza being built. It's not done yet. It should be done by July. So they never finished. They're still building it. We got tired of waiting. So we decided let's look for another spot, you know, and, and just and see if we can find a good location. So we started looking and looking and looking and we found something and we did something and here it goes. We got a location. So let's go inside, show you how it looks like. Door now, you can open the door now, go ahead. I'm, I'm done with this. So just to give you a rough draft, these are medical offices you can see. Kind of right there, a little bit. These are different offices. So this used to be a medical office. So we're gonna have barbers in different rooms and stuff like that. This could be our lobby, and it's hard to tell from here. Lily, show model. This is the lobby. You're my model. This is the lobby. And so we're gonna have uh, the lobby right here in the middle is where my daughter was standing. And then each barber is gonna have their own, not each barber, but we're gonna have fit like two barbers in each room. You guys can kinda see. And we have five different rooms. So it's one room here, one room here, another room here behind me. We have a bathroom. We have a little kitchen area. And we got a closet right there. For storage, the another bathroom. Up? So we got women, boys, women, and men. The toilets up in the girls' bathroom. I don't know. <laughs> and then another room, little kind of storage area, and another room. So we're here. We're about to start painting, getting the place ready. Our goal is to open up in two weeks. So we have to paint this whole place, bring everything in, set it up, and uh, yeah, we have a barber shop, man. Yeah. Let's get started on painting. Guys, we got mostly one thing almost done. We got some things. So yeah, we got most of the things done. There's a few more rooms to finish. We gotta finish that one. Um, she works harder than her husband, I just want to say that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, continue finishing. I'll show you guys an update once we're done. So I'll see you guys in a few weeks. So guys, <clears throat> it is the next day. It's Thursday morning right now. Um, I want to start off by saying this. Whatever idea it was to paint the barbershop, it's a horrible person. It was my idea. I got home last night, took a shower. I uh, went to the couch with my kids, watched some TV before I went to bed. I went to go stand up and nothing wanted to work. My knees didn't want to work. My back was locked up. I got cramps on both of my legs. I'm old. Painting and or squatting and movements of rapid... <sighs> I can't be moving like I used to, guys. I'm getting old, but uh, we're back at it today. I'm about to head to the barbershop, go work. Got a few haircuts today. After work, go back to our barbershop and uh, start finish painting off everything that we left yesterday and continue with our journey of opening our first barbershop. Man, we're super excited. We we're, were there till 10 o'clock last night, hustling. It's, it was fun, it was a mission, I'm in pain. But you gotta sacrifice when you want things right and you want to make your, your, your dreams and your goals come true. So we're back at it today. So let's head to the shop, get those haircuts in and then back to painting and reaching our goals. So, <laughs> whew, man. Moments later. Guys, I've been sitting here for like the last 10 minutes. I, I finished work, it's already past six o'clock. I'm, I'm about to leave the shop I work at to go to the shop that I own to finish painting, but I'm, I'm so sore and so tired that I haven't been able to turn on the car and move. But gotta go and do what I gotta do because you can't achieve your goals if you don't put the work in, right? So let's go get to the sh shop the, uh, where our barbershop is gonna be at and uh, continue painting and finish. Hopefully finish today the painting because I hate it. Like I really, uh, next time I have to paint something like big, I'm hiring somebody, definitely. Can't do this. I'm getting too old for this, man. Guys, so 
we have a dilemma. We get to the barbershop, we're ready to finish painting. We walk in, we look at the walls that we painted yesterday and spend all these hours painting, and this is what we see. I don't know if you guys could tell, but the color is purple. Stop getting it for you. And if you're wondering, Angel, was it supposed to be purple? No, it was not. It was supposed to be like a light, 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 super light gray close to white. And that's not what we got. So, uh, yeah. We gotta start over again. 2,000 years later. So, as you guys can see, we're back. You guys seen us, you know, painting, we got the location. We were working, ready to go. And something happened to all of us that we were not expecting. And I'm gonna tell you what that is. So, in the midst of us painting and, and, and getting ready to move into this new location, something happened to us and it was a crazy moment. And here, here is what it is. All of us end up getting COVID. Uh, my wife, me, my kids, my brother-in-law, sister-in-law, their kids, we all got jacked. Up, uh, horrible. Out of all of us, I would say between me and my wife got it the worst. Um, you know, I got I got the diarrhea, the churra, I got vomiting, cold chills, headaches, dizziness, body aches. I didn't eat for two weeks. I lost 17 pounds. I couldn't drink nothing. I couldn't taste. I couldn't smell. I, I was I was fever. I was I had every single thing you could have. I had. I, as you can see, I lost my voice too. It, it was crazy, man. And and. Thankfully, my uh, sister-in-law and, and brother-in-law, even though they had COVID, they didn't have it so bad that they were still able to come in here and work on the place and finish and move everything in. I wanted to share everything with you guys uh, on how it was gonna look and us moving the furniture in and setting everything up. But because I got super sick, I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't move. I was in bed all day and I go to the hospital and everything. But we are in the barber shop. So I'm gonna share with you what we did. Um, just a few things. We haven't finished everything. We just need a few more decorations and things like that. But I wanna share with you what we got so far. So let's take a second and do that. So as you guys can see, you kind of see a little bit. It's my son right there. Say what's up. Hi. <laughs> so this is our waiting area. We got two seats, table, uh, more chairs, TV. Uh, we got some speakers we're gonna be hanging up. We still haven't got that done yet. Mirror, lions. So this is our waiting area, you guys can kind of see. There, seating. So we got that so far. TV is up, we haven't got Wi-Fi yet, so we're still waiting for that. Then we got, it's my room. We got two stations, you guys can see. We come over here, let's see if it's a better angle. It's my station right there, we got the barber pole light. All the good stuff. Next, we got my sister in law's room. You can see her stuff right there. She got closets, station, whatever. Those are our speakers. She got TV. She's not done with her room either. She hasn't started in here yet, so yeah. Next, sorry for my heavy breathing. I'm still having shortness of breath because of the COVID. My kids are in here, my daughter. This is where a massage therapist will be. You can see, that's a massage chair. We're gonna have to put our TV up. Shout out to my sister-in-law, Lauren, for painting that wall. She said it was a pain in the butt. We got bathrooms, pretty basic. It's a toilet sink. We got the kitchen, we got a uh, microwave, coffee maker. We got a mini fridge right here, which we gotta put somewhere else another bathroom and then we have <coughs> this room right here we got two stations shampoo bowl tv and out of storage room there's nothing really in there and then my brother-in-law's room because we have a station station tv trash can but yeah yeah, guys, these, this is our barber shop. Like I said, we have a few more things we gotta do. Um, we're looking for barbers. So if you live in the Ocala area, you're looking for a job, let us know. Uh, you must have a license. Uh, that would be very, very appreciative. It's not a word, but yeah. So yeah, man, we got a few more things to do. Nothing crazy. Uh, we're enjoying it. Today was my first official day because uh, I couldn't cut hair because I was dizzy and all that stuff. So today was my official day, super excited. Have fun. So, yeah. So, with that being said, man, um, I wish I could have shared more stuff with you guys. But like I said, this whole COVID jacked everybody up. 
Uh, fortunately, we couldn't do the stuff we wanted to do. I couldn't film everything that I wanted to film. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's nothing crazy, like I said. Uh, next time, hopefully, I get to show you more in our next barbershop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, next one. Um, but yeah, once we add more things in here, I'll show you guys. Once we have our massage therapist and all that, I'll show you guys, uh, with you guys, everything, everything is set up. So, uh, with that being said, hope you enjoy this. <coughs> Sorry. Remember to subscribe, like, share with your friends, your partners, your homies, your me, with everybody you can. Remember to set goals, accomplish your goals, and set new goals. And above everything, always, always, always be blessed. This is your boy. Once again, thank God I'm still alive. And uh, I hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace. 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 You see what I'm saying? I'm crazy. <laughs> Just check it out.